Hello, my name is Miss Sherry and I work at the Inland Empire Resource Conservation District. And what I wanted to do with you today is to show you my bird's nest. So the first one I'm going to show you is an American Robin's Nest. This one was sent to me from my son in Oregon because they have American Robins in Oregon and they have them here in Southern California too. So with the Robin's Nest, Robins first off, they like to roost in the same tree. They like to get all cozy and, and be together. And with the Robin's Nest here I want to show you, they made it with mud. I don't know if you could see that, but there's mud inside there. So it makes for a pretty heavy nest, but it holds up in the trees. Okay, so now robins, they like to eat worms and insects and berries. And you know what? There's an expression that says the early bird gets the worm. Well, when they made that up, they were talking about the robin because it gets up very early to catch those worms. So let me see, one second, you'll be able to hear what the robin sounds like. Listen to this. Wasn't that something? Okay, the next one is the mockingbird nest. Now, mockingbirds can copy up to 200 different bird songs. And the mockingbird loves to sing all day and all night. It's really interesting. And it's the male mockingbirds that are doing all that singing. So this one, you could see it's made out of sticks and twine and other soft materials, maybe some feathers. Now see this nest? There's some broken eggs in there. This nest is pretty old and there were no babies in this nest. So I don't know what happened to the mother. But mockingbirds are really cool nest and uh, birds and we see them all over the place. So hold on a second and now you're going to hear a little bit of what the mockingbird sounds like. Here we go. The next one I have to show you is the bush tit. Now this nest here, such an unusual nest. See how soft and pillowy it is? It's spongy. Now this nest was made from moss and spider webs. But there's something else in this nest that I wanted to point out. Do you see that? That's paper. So the, the little bird took paper to make their nest. So should birds be using our trash for their nesting material? That shouldn't happen. So what we can do is make sure that we put the, the trash where it goes. There's a bird right there. Hmm. So we need to make sure that we put the trash where it goes and the recycling where it goes. All right? So one thing about the little, the little bush tits is that these little birds like to nest together. So they might have a bigger nest with multiple families living inside. They also are very acrobatic birds. They like to hang upside down and look for spiders and insects. So they're really cute to watch, right? Oh, let's listen to some of them too, I almost forgot. Okay, listen to this. All right, let's go to the next one. This one is a Buick's wren nest. Now, oh my goodness, look at these thorns, right? Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's the hole right there. So that's where the mother bird would come in and take care of her babies. So the, um, the Buick's wren, they like to go out into the open area, like sage scrub areas. So they are what we call cavity nesters. So they like to go inside of trees or in cactuses and they hide in there. But when there was nothing around, they get creative like this little Buick wren that made this nest, right? Pretty cool. So let's listen to the Buick's wren. So 
the next one I have is this little hummingbird nest. Now hummingbirds, I'll put this up so you can see it. The hummingbirds are the smallest of all the birds. And they get their name from the humming sound that they make as they fly. Hummingbirds, you know they like to eat nectar. They get them from, from flowers. But did you know that hummingbirds also like to eat insects? Yes, they do. When they have little babies growing, they, they will eat insects too. So the hummingbird here make their nest out of moss and spider webs, just like, just like the bush tit does. They make it, and it is also very soft and very small, right? Okay, hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly up and down and backwards. That's what the hummingbird can do. So let's listen to the hummingbird. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed checking out my bird's nest. I really enjoyed sharing them with you. I love to do that. And you can check us out on social media at ierCD.org and also at Inland Empire RCD. Another thing you can do is go outside, start your own collection. It could be rocks, it could be pine cones, whatever you like. Take some binoculars with you and I bet you, you will be able to see some birds you maybe even didn't notice that were in your own backyard. All right? Well, you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh. Ooh.